Welcome to New Hugh Hand Fun Fem Huey 2017 Year of Color. Each month, the colorway is based on the samples that I submit to the spinning box. And this month's theme was Hot Couture, High Fashion. Well, I'm a farm girl at heart, and uh, high fashion for me, well, it's blue jeans. So I'm forever in blue jeans, and it'll never go out of style. Yeah, we're going to dissect our colorway here. Each month's subscription, you'll receive the one roll or up to four rolls, depending on what you've ordered. And Forever in Blue Jeans is a striped pattern, but yet it's also allowed to bleed. So, to see what your colors are and how to repeat, you need to roll out your color way into thirds because that's how I dye it. Once you pull these together, you can see the color repeat. There's six different colors used, but then they're also allowed to bleed into each other so you get a few more colors in there. But you can see your basics here now once we've got them lined up a bit here. So you've got your colors of one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it goes six, five, four, three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if you spun this from one into the other, you would get that repeat. But if you want a consistent repeat, you need to break these at each end, and that will give you three, approximately one ounce repeats of the six colors. Now, the first way that um, I've spun this up. Each month I'll spin three, four different ways. The first way I've spun this up is just simply one end to the other. And then I Navajo plied it, which kept the colors all together. And this is what we look like there. Now Navajo ply gives you a very round yarn. I'm going to take a little bit in there so we can see what's going on. And here you can see the colors. There's the one, two, three, four, five, and six colors, and they blend in between. But the nice round of um, the Navajo 3 ply really gives a different look to the lace. Um, this shouldn't do any pilling. Each month I'm going to do the Navajo 3 ply um, and continue this on to make a scarf of all 12 of the colorways here. Now, the next way that I've spun it is just taking the one one ounce and splitting it lengthwise and plying it against itself. I still get the six separate colors as you can see here. Um, they are a little more gentle fade because sometimes they don't match up exact so you get a little bit of barber pulling but as you can see once you knit it up that just fades and makes a real nice gradient change on there. Now the other way I did it was to take and split it so that I plied the light end against the darker end. And that will give a very tweedy look, a more uniform look, no stripe or very little striping. But you can see that inner part here, the other half of these little boot toppers, is the dark applied against the light and machine. You get a very nice tweedy look. Another version of faded jeans here. Now, the last way that I did this um, was to take and strip this one down to very thin strips. And I was had um, what, 72 strips, and I just took them and stripped each one off, put half on one bob and half on the other, then plied them together. This gives a little bit more random meetup of colors. You still get some pops of color. This is a, a two-ply lace. It's about a tw 20 wrap per inch. And as you can see, you get some spots of colors. You get blended. It just gives you a nice variation without being real stripy. And this is just some lace that I'm working on. Um, it would be a neck warmer here. And 
um, I'm just practicing some different lace techniques. One thing you'll find with hand spun, anything that gives more movement to the yarn uh, while knitting, see how it gets a little curvy, that'll um, really add to the hand spun yarn look. You don't get so much striping and uh, lifesaver look to it, but more of a blended look to it. And here you see in the skein where we've got just little spots of colors that come up with it. So there's a lot of different ways you can spin the Bam Huey. And with the striped yarn, or excuse me, striped fibers, um, you can blend it up so that you don't have stripes, or you can leave it as pure stripes here. A lot of different variations. These are just some things that I've tried. I'd love to see what you've done. And I hope to see you next month with Next Month's Color. And be sure to look at the still pictures, which give a little more description of how I split up the fibers. Um, until next month, we'll see you in February. But for now, we'll be forever in blue jeans.